All right, guys, we got a 2005 Nissan Altima sport model, a four cylinder. We're gonna replace the starter. So, in here, we have a spar starter right here. This is what this baby looks like. Lifetime warranty, as long as you got the car. Uh, on the part, you got a lifetime warranty. So, this is good stuff. So, the part number is right here. It does have a core, so the old one got to go back. Anyways, the starter is down there. So today we're gonna disconnect the battery. We're gonna lose lose our idle speed, idle memory. I might want not want to disconnect that. So let's see how it goes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this air filter housing right here, the air duct. Uh, we're gonna remove this clip right here, and we're gonna disconnect the mass airflow sensor, and everything should just come out, and we'll have a lot of room to work on this baby. Got a flathead screwdriver. We're gonna remove this guy right here. Just loosen it up about four to five threads. That's gonna release the clamp on the air housing. Okay, and then take your needle nose or plier, remove this clip right here. And once you remove that clip, you should be able to move this pipe off. Usually it would try to come off from that end. Okay, it came off from that end. It's pretty, it's probably all, the pipe gets hard and then it just comes right off. And there you go. This guy comes right off just like that. Let's put this to the side. Okay, so the starter's right down here. So we got a, uh, we got two bolts on this guy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect this connector right here. This is the connector for the control cable. So this starter, what it's doing is it's doing a click and then it will not turn over. And we're gonna remove this 12 millimeter here. So this is live power, shared from right here. It goes straight from right here. So we're gonna disconnect the battery. Okay, so this is a 13 millimeter. So if you got a 10 millimeter or a 12 millimeter, just get the proper tool. Get rid of this guy right here, disconnect this. So by doing this, you might lose memory on this idle on the throttle body, but that's okay. It will build itself, but now you're safe to remove this guy down here. Okay, so we're gonna take 12 millimeter to remove this uh, nut here. That holds the cable, the 12 volt cable. So if you disconnect the battery, you shouldn't worry about any spark and this cable should just come right off just like that there you go and you can just push it down leave it there hang it okay next what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove, remove the 14 millimeter we're gonna have to reach it straight from down here okay guys uh so I got a 14 here with about three, two and a half inch extension. This bolt right down here, you're gonna reach from right here and you're gonna fish out this bolt, the 14 millimeter. And we're gonna remove this guy right now as we speak, as long as my ratchet is able to grab this guy. There you go. We're gonna turn this baby counterclockwise. It's gonna be super tight. So let me get loosen this up off the camera. Okay guys, so I went and got this long ratchet, so you're gonna need a lot of leverage. So that 14 millimeter bolt is probably gonna be super tight, but with one hand, I'm able to do it just like that. And then we're gonna work on the 17 millimeter up on the top. So once it's loose, you could take your socket and extension and you could just turn it by hand. Let's see if I can manage to get this guy out of here. So I can't even see the bolt. It's all about touch and feel. All I know is where it sits at on the new starter. Once you turn it several times, it should just come out. And here it is. Okay, fell down. So maybe I can get it from this end. Okay, here it is. There you go, 14 millimeter, goes in the bottom. Okay guys, so I went and got a 17 millimeter next. So the bolt is right over here, up on the top. 
So this harness might bother you a bit, but once you get this guy on, Okay, almost got it. There you go, it's right on the neck of the bolt, on the head. And again, a lot of leverage. There you go. And once you do this, your starter should start to move around, but you don't want to wiggle it yet until you get the bolt out completely. Okay, so it's loose. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna turn this guy by hand like that starter is going to start to open up right here the gap between the housing the transmission and the starter anyways let me get this bolt out it's going to be probably good 20 30 turns or less okay it's loose i'm able to turn it by hand but it's really hot and there you go, whole starter is moving. So your bracket here is gonna start to move with it. Okay, got 10 millimeters on it, so let's do this. Let's push on these tabs to release the harness. Let's get the harness out of the way. And maybe this shifter cable here. Should be able to take off the shifter cable as well. There you go. So the harness is off and the shifter cable's off. We're just going to have to put the shifter cable back in the spot and the bracket. This is going to be a long bolt. goes right through the transmission nice and hot. Anyways, here comes the starter. Ooh, nice and hot. Crispy. Ah, there it is. Okay. Grab it with something. Okay, there it is. There it is. So we're gonna have to take off this little bracket. It has two 10 millimeters. We're gonna take these two off. But prior to that, what you wanna do is you wanna count the teeth. You wanna check the length so it doesn't damage the transmission when you put this baby back in. And there you go, the length is good. So all you need to do is count the teeth. Okay, I'm gonna do that off the camera, but count them, it should be the same amount of teeth. Okay, so 13 tooth and 13 tooth, perfect. So what we're gonna do is, let's put this starter just like that. So let's take off this 10 millimeter here. This 10 millimeter here. It's a 10 millimeter bolt. And we're gonna put this bracket right here, just like that. We're gonna do it right now. It's okay. We have a lot of clearance in there. So I snapped up this bracket here, so 10 millimeter. We're gonna tighten these babies up. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, and we got new bolt with this guy. So let's remove this right now. Usually, I like to use the old one because it's better. Okay, you see that? You got a, you got a big perfect head to it. So I'm gonna use the old one. It's better and. Uh, Let's take this guy in. Okay, so there you go. The new starter is gonna go in nicely and easily. Okay, make sure you pick up the harness. You don't pinch the harness. And what we're gonna do here is stick the starter in. Once the starter is in, We should be able to put the bolts in. Okay, so the starter sits flush. I'm gonna take the big bolt first. Stick this in, try to catch the threads. And once you capture this one, we're gonna go in the bottom, get the second one in, but I might have to do it with my socket. Okay, so I'll use a little piece of paper to hold this bolt. And I'm just gonna have to fish the hole. Once you get it in there, Say, give it a whole bunch of turns, and then we're gonna tighten it with the ratchet. Okay, so I got both bolts. You see, I got two extensions sitting over here, so I'm gonna tighten them both one at a time. So I'm gonna try to get the 17 millimeter first. They're both slim. 
not done and I just don't want to take off the sockets it's hard to fish it out okay what the hell okay so both bolts are tight what we want to do is most important do not forget this connector if you forget this connector your starter is not going to start it's not going to engage don't forget this uh, 12 volt cable right here remember that little bolt we're going to use the old one you can put the new one in it but it's just so thin I'd rather put this one back in it's not a big deal so this is a 12 millimeter nice and tight that's what we're gonna do nice and tight where's my 12 millimeter right here so a few turns and this thing will you don't want to go crazy either you will crack the starter so once you feel it nice and tight you stop after that put your air duct pipe back in put your battery together Start your starter, it should not, the starter should only start and cut off. If some starters, when they fail or if they defect, they will just keep going, okay? And there should be no noises, like grinding noises. If you have grinding noises, pull it out, put another one in, it will damage your flywheel. The, the noise will be this teeth is going uh, too far in or the diameter is not correct or there's too many teeth, so that's why I say count your teeth. Thank you for watching. See you guys on the next one. Don't forget to put your battery back together. Don't forget to put the air duct pipe and the vacuum line down here. And that's it.